hello everyone and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing and thank you so much for staying okay so today i'll be showing you how to make the pattern for a crisscross shoulder neckline so if that is something you're interested in learning or knowing how to make do keep on watching and if you're new if you're new on my channel kindly subscribe to join the family okay yeah so these are all the patterns laid out here so, yeah let's get right into the video so these are all the items that i'll be needing for this project i went ahead to sketch out the design or the yeah the design because i find that this helps me understand what i do or helps me dissect the design a lot better so you can see that it has a dot on either side of the dress as well as a center seam so i went ahead to section the left part of that dress as section one and the right part as section two okay so section one has a subsection a and subsection b so the subsection a is like the outer side part of the the left part while the b is the center front of the left part and the same thing goes for the right part of the dress this is section two it has section a and section b yeah so the section a on the right part or yeah the section a for the right part is the outer sides or the right sides of the dress while the b is the center front so we have two center front pieces and two side pieces i went ahead to further dissect it into what you can see below see that the center front or the center pieces are two separate pieces that have shoulder or neckline that goes to the other side of the dress the shoulder on the left side is extended from the right part of the dress and the shoulder on the right side is extended from the left part of the dress and it has like a bustier that i have a detailed video on how to do a bustier that by the way so i have a link in the description box to start off with the front i'll be folding my paper into two because you want an entire front for this you want your full front for this so i'm just going to fold the paper into two like you see me doing having folded the paper into two i'll be imputing my body lines my body point that's my bust point my waist and the under balls as well as my shoulder so i'm just going to go through that and show you guys i have a detailed video on how to do a a bustier where i explain how to get all these lines so do check it out it will be in the description box so i haven't drawn all the lines next i'll be taking half of my bust pan measurement which is four inches so i'm just going to draw four inches across all those lines that i just drew earlier and this is my where my dad would start or where my dad would be taken from basically then i went ahead to go below my bust line and above my bust line by one inch as you see me marking or as i have marked there then i'll be marking one inch on either side of that top line and connect it to that one inch mark that is above my bust line so that will serve as the upper dart for the lower dart i'm going to repeat the same process one inch on either side of that four inch line then connect it to the one inch points below my bust line like i said earlier all these things i explained in my bust here person so if you haven't seen it do check it out okay so since this paper is on fold i'm just going to open it up and transfer all those lines to the other side of the paper like i have done and i did not transfer the dart or replace yeah i did not transfer the dart to the other side of the paper because we'll be cutting yeah i'll be showing you guys why i did not transfer the dart to the other side of the paper just on one side of the paper currently so you can see that the shoulder so you can see that the shoulder comes from one side and meets up with the other with the dart line so what i'm going to do now is to create a small neckline like a very very small neckline having done that the next step would be to draw a straight line across that center front from top to bottom so be drawing from top to bottom like this then the next step would be to Draw a line that extends from the line or the neckline on the left and meets up with that dart line on the right. So I'm going to draw a line from the left part of the neckline and connect it to that right part of the dart. Then this is what it looks like. You can see that this line is one inch below my upper chest line. Okay, and I'll be showing you guys why later on as we proceed. Then the next step would be to determine how wide you want your 
shoulder to be you can do it anyhow or it you can go as wide or as narrow as you want but i want mine to be three and a half inches so i'm basically just going to draw a line that is three and a half inches and connect it to that center front line that we just drew the next step would be to create the vent or the opening and to do this i'll be marking one and a half inch below that line that we just connected to that center front line and basically create a curve by going in then bringing it back out to that center front line so it should look something like this so the purpose of this vent or this curve is to ensure that we sew the dress without ruining the flow of the shoulder okay then i basically folded my paper into two or into half again i folded my paper into half again so now i'm going to be taking a quarter of my body measurements and do note that i'll be replacing the dots that i yeah the measurements that i use for the dots so do note that i use either one inch on either side so that means i'll be replacing two inches and adding an extra one inch for seam when taking the body measurements then back to the neckline because I dropped this part by one inch, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side of that dart because we don't want one side to be higher than the other. So I'm going to drop that by one inch, then connect it to my body line like so. You can see that I basically started the slope from where my armhole line is. So when you're sloping, you do make sure you follow the yeah your basic body space. Uh, measurement so you can see that it slopes into the armhole from where that armhole line is okay so this is the plan that we'll be working with i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and show you guys haven't cut it out this is what it looks like and see that it's almost coming together this is going to be the center front and i'll be cutting two of these then this is going to be the side front i'll be cutting two of these as well okay so these are my fourth front patterns ready and good to go the next step now would be to create the back pattern or yeah the back pattern depending on what you want I, since it has like a strap that extends to the shoulder i felt it would be more convenient to do like a strappy back like this a strap that goes into the back nothing major behind just a normal dot on either side of the back then a center zipper because of that straps that extend to the shoulder so let's just go ahead and cut out this pattern and i'll be showing you guys how to so to make the back pattern a really easy way to do this is just to trace the sides of your front the sides of your front on a fresh pattern paper and trace it from top to bottom so this would ensure that the sides of the front and the sides of the back are equal in length okay and when tracing you want to ensure that you take note of those body lines your bust point as well as your under bust and the waistline having done that i'm going to be drawing out those lines or extending those lines outwards like this then from that line that we just drew that straight line that we traced out earlier i'm going to be measuring four inches which is going to be where my dad will be taken from or which is half of my bust pan measurement then this is what it looks like you can see we have the bust the under bust and the waistline then i'm going to mark half inch on either side of that four inch line to create the back dart and it should look something like this four inches on either side of that line and this is what it looks like Next up, I'll be taking my body measurements, a quarter of my body measurements, ensuring that I replace that dot into the measurement and add an extra allowance. Then from the center front, I'm going to create a zipper allowance by one and a half inch, which is that there. As you can see, that is the zipper allowance. Then that is the center back and that is the side back already so basically this back pattern is basically straight along the neckline for now because you can basically curve it if you want you can curve it you can make it higher or lower you can do any design that you want okay so while cutting it out i realized that the pattern was a little bit shorter than the original size of the front so what i went ahead to do is to trace it upwards this 
trace the sides upward then slope it back into that center back line to create a slope along the neckline then i'm just you can see that it's even now you can see that the sides of the front and the sides of the back are even in length now so what i'll be doing next is to cut out that that line as well as the pieces i'm just going to cut out all the pieces and show you guys what it looks like so i'm just going to cut cut and cut so having cut it out this is the front piece and because we are going to be making straps at the back i'll be showing you guys how to take the strap or how to make the straps for the back because the straps on the back will be attached to the shoulder on the front okay i basically just placed that center back line on the center front line ensuring that the zipper is extended inwards and i'm not taking the measurements from the zipper part then having placed all back pieces onto the front pieces i measured the distance from the shoulder of the front all the way to where that strap would meet the back pattern and for mine it's 11 inches so i'll be cutting a strap that is 12 inches 12 inches long a strap that is 12 inches long just so it meets up with that shoulder then to determine the width of the strap for the back i basically measured the width of the shoulder on the front and this is three and a half inches so that means i'll be cutting a strap for the back that is three and a half inches wide and 12 inches long okay so having cut that strap which is right at the top there these are all the panels or all yeah all the panels of the laid out here these are all the panels laid out it's really easy really simple so do give this video a thumbs up if you learned something if you enjoyed the video and if you want me to make more pattern tutorials do give me a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and if you're a new comer on my channel kindly subscribe to join the family subscribe and help a girl grow okay so guys that's pretty much it for this video i'm gonna see you guys in my next video okay bye